everyone so I thought I would show you some Stormcaller uh, gameplay here and as far as the altars go and uh, yeah I'm a little confused right now because somehow this one got taken but whatever anyway hmm. uh, so we only have three attempts here and I just keep getting beat and I swapped everything out all my heroes are obviously maxed and I think, uh, not every altar, this is the primary one. As you can see, I accidentally went to this one, but it's the same person. Um, I'm not going to give them any props so they can kiss my butt. Uh, but, <clears throat> moral of the story, it doesn't look like Stormcaller's nearly as good in Lost Realm, at least fighting for the altars, uh, that I thought he would be. So let's give this one a shot. Um, this is the team that we're going with. Everyone's maxed out. I have healing pets. I've got the, uh, what's the kitty there? The uh, energy reduction rate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we could probably, whoops. Move Dove over here. Maybe move him forward. You don't re want, really want him tanking, but he's just getting dropped by Dove Keeper. It's, it's really stupid and annoying because I'm doing nothing to his Stormcaller. Storm Eater, whatever the hell their name is. But I have an 8 to 8 stone skin, completely maxed out inscriptions, in damage reduction, everything. And he's just getting dropped. But his storm, his storm is fine. So I don't know. So we're trying this comp. Um, obviously we can't do that. So let's head over here and see what happens. But I don't think Stormcaller is nearly as good in, uh, in this mode as I thought it was going to be. Because I'm losing to the person who doesn't use one. So, obviously not doing too bad on this one. Think it'll end up a W. W. Hmm, yeah. Do, do, do. So, I thought that with the combination of the three second coma from, um, from Storm and the Sasquatch that it would pretty much lock down any team but I was wrong it doesn't work that way so let's get through these and then I know I'll target the one that I've struggled the most with and if it doesn't work it doesn't work I'll switch the team around later without storm and take the base if I can um, but as you can see it's pretty useful it's nice to lock them down for three seconds but it's pretty amazing I mean just look at how they live how do you live with constant three second coma I'm not sure. And maybe it's because I'm doing this two tank team now. Uh, I switched to it because of this base we're about to fight that I can't seem to beat. Not with using Stormcaller anyway. Man, Dove is probably the... The... I don't know. Maybe the number one must-have here right now because she just hits so hard. And when she takes people out, it makes a huge difference. Um, cause she just hits so hard, especially when you're hitting a squishy, like a uh, storm. And as you're going to see in this base, he just wastes my storm and then it's over. Um, even when I had Sasquatch, which is baffling to me, how do you get through a five of five revite Sasquatch stun on top of a five of five <laughs> revite storm collars coma and still just get owned. So we'll see how this goes. I'm doing like a double tank team. I've taken out Serena, which I had in first. Uh, well for the first I don't know five attempts at this video but let's see what happens As you can see he's double tanking no storm storm at least I, I moved him up front so he'd get that instant proc but as you can see storm just drops while I do nothing so I think the moral of the story here is you're the strongest teams in alters you're not gonna win with a storm caller because Dove Keeper is killing them way too fast. Plain and simple. I've, I've done this fight with this guy like 500 times. So, just to show you, give you some pointers for you. I'm not even going to waste the time. It's just garbage. So, it's pretty sad. I thought this, this would be, you know, one of the number one places that he would really shine because of the cor close quarters and the coma catching everybody 
in its uh, area of effect. But even using Sasquatch at the same time, <laughs> like that, the stuns, it just it doesn't work. It's garbage. It's really, really disappointing to me because it's not at all what I thought would happen. So I'll come kick this guy's ass later for being a chump, and uh, but I'll have to ditch the storm collar. So let's go in the battlefield here. Uh, we have about 30 minutes before reset. I missed a day, but I usually just aim for a thousand. As long as I get a thousand, cool. I get my gym, so I'm fine with it. I don't really try harder than that. Teams are, well, could probably be better. Maybe I'll try to swap up some. The idea is, you know, if you've seen previous videos, you've probably already heard this, but the idea here is the first team is kind of instant proc, nuke them fast, move on. Um, with Sasquatch being the CC slash tank and Serena providing some heals. And it's actually pretty funny in some of the fights that she gets the res off and it changes things. Um, and then the second one is pretty tank and spank with a healer and the nuker dove. And hopefully we don't get to the third one, but it's pretty tank and spank with um, heals. But this chick... Do, we probably need to get rid of Trixie. I, she's got eight of eight, what is it, precision or whatever for crit, and uh, five revite sets so to get her to hit first, but she just seems to get killed quick. So I'm not sure. Nick usually lives a little longer, but it's still not great. So I'm not sure who we could put in there. Maybe... You know, I've, I've got to give this guy a chance sometime. I, I just don't play with creation at all. Um, maybe we'll... I haven't played much since I uh, since the dual talent came out, and I got the stone skin on... Dude, dude, sorry. This guy. Uh, it's just a little pet on him to have. I wanted to make sure he's got a five revite set. Because him procking instantly, making that d uh, dodge increase or blinding them, whatever, is pretty big. And it's because he's so dang squishy. Let me just go ahead and throw him in here real fast. And we'll see how this, this goes. But either way, the, the point of the video is to show you Stormcaller's uh, performance here in Lost Battlefield. This needs to be fixed. IgG. You have too many dang heroes. Now, why am I scrolling for 10 days to get to a hero? Garbage. Fix it. Maybe he's already in here somewhere? Ugh. Why would I have him in there? He's going to get dropped. I think I had him in there for Guild Wars too. But let's see if he can do better with the stone skin. Oh my lord. Make the icon smaller. Make three rows. Problem solved. As you can see, Storm's here and for the damage reduction, too. So, let's see how that goes. Do I see any other obvious changes we need to make? Little Nick is, gets that instant proc, so that's nice. So, this is probably fine. Uh, let me confirm that... Not that we're going for rank here or anything, but let me confirm that... Sir, uh, Athene's got. Might as well throw a pet on her. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. Somebody needs to give up their five revite set. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Who got it? Who got it? You have like five or six of them. Squatch needs his. Storm needs his. Oh, there we go. Uh, actually, well. He's okay with a, a lower, like a four. Give his, or three, that's fine. Give his peeps uh, a minute to take damage, or you know, a couple seconds to take damage before he procs anyway. So that's why we're doing that. <sighs> All right, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. I'm sure we'll be fine. We're, we're fighting you know, lower than we should be anyway because I'm missing a day. Um, and the point is just to show you Stormcaller. I'm trying to think if that position's good for him or if I want him out front. I don't want him targeted first, but I do want that first instant drop. But let's just go with it. Ooh, this could be me, and that's pretty tanky. Oh, never mind. <laughs> My burst team, so I'm not surprised. But 
If it wasn't for a Squatch stunning up this SK, he might come in here and wreck our face. I miss the old SK. Oh, this guy's not even doubly balls, so... Yeah, look at Stormcaller go. He's so... <laughs> he's so beast. Look at him go. Oh, man. You're not helping me here, Sephiroth. Isn't that a uh, Final Fantasy character? Hero? Something like that? Hmm. Nuke? Nook? Nook author. He's showing a... Uh, whatever the heck his name is. Doesn't matter because he's nothing. So we might as well just go with this. Why can't I think of the name of <laughs> that hero? Oh, man. It's kind of a... Sorry, guys. It's, uh, I shouldn't have missed one day because it makes the video kind of <laughs> weak sauce because, like, here, you know, it's not even maxed out heroes. Most of them were double evolved, but you don't get to see the full effect going against, you know, the same exact level heroes double evolved and maxed out. But hopefully we'll get one here. Here we go. This looks fair. Ooh. Oh, man. That's why you don't use Ares anymore. I mean, of course, if you if you need to still use them because you don't have every hero. And not saying silence isn't, isn't good. You just have to get lucky. Okay, let's see. This should be a good example, Storm. Look at that. It just drops that right in the middle of all of them. Hmm. That's very nice. Someday I think I'll push rank in uh, Lost Battlefield. I mean, I have all the max out heroes, so why wouldn't I? Um, let's try this. All right, we're getting tougher. Ooh, don't let that wall heal. Damn, Athene, nuke that wall. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Ooh, we might lose this one. No, we're definitely losing this one. And this team is not set up for... Uh, come on. <laughs> it would be nice to sell them. Uh, is not set up. Oh, come on, Rez. Oh, no. Serena's stunned. Um, it's not set up like artifacts, pets, crests. I I didn't do that. I just really wanted to story, show you some Stormcaller gameplay in here. But as you can see, it's not all that impressive. The first team was strong, and then he came in. Come on. Who names themselves Diabetes123? Insensitive scrub. What do we got here? All right. We got Golem getting us up, so we should be fine no matter what. Who's that they're on? Oh, man, I tell you. Skeletica is still a beast must have. 740. IGG, why you let me roll and you always give me lower? I don't get it. <laughs> Mom, stop texting me. Gosh, trying to make a YouTube video. All right, come on, Storm. Spectravision. Interesting name. Now ah, we got two single Evos and one's a 180 Aries. Eh, if we didn't beat that, I wouldn't publish the video. <laughs> I'd be a little embarrassed. Well, here, let's use... What do we got? 13 cards, whatever. Let's use the cards because I wanted to... Oh, we can't do that. I wanted to show more of the Storm Caller gameplay, but we keep going against these easy second team. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what I like to see. That's what my first team is. That's my nuke team, you know? All right, this should be a good fight. Really good fight, actually. Skeletica in there. Everyone's double evolved. He's got some pretty strong heroes. But, man, he drops that spike in the middle of him. He just owns. Why can't I do that in Lost Realm? Hmm. <laughs> I love that little Nick skin with his little poncho. And a theme maker. Rain Girl. I need to work on a 88 War God Athene thrower in here. That 5-5 five, five revite. It's boom, 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 boom. Make it even that much stronger. I think uh, she's stone skin right now because she's a skishy. All right, this is pretty fair. I mean, Dread Drake, little old school hero. <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, the strength of that uh, shard, it lands and, uh, you know, it just that three second coma the instant proc it, it does good damage oh boy i cupid just got dropped oh senior no name he's risque everybody wants to be like that guy you don't know me oh pd you're dead bro <laughs> 
Yeah. So, I mean, at least you get the point that he's a very strong hero in Lost Battlefield. Maybe not necessarily the strongest, but still very strong. How many times will it let me use these cards? Why the... Actually, this is the last card I use because, come on, they're giving me effing 200 levels below me. YouTube Chris LP. Who are you? And if you're YouTubing with these heroes, hope you are really entertaining. Who are you, Chris LP? Are you subscribed to me? Do you watch my videos? Do you know who I am? I'm nobody. But link me your uh, YouTube and I'll check it out. Give you a shout out, maybe, and like if the hundred people that watch these videos eventually want to check it out, they'll go. Anyway, I'm not going to waste any more cards because, as you can see, it's just a waste giving me these 700 garbage teams. But I hope you saw that Stormcaller is very strong um, in Lost Battlefield. And maybe not so much in Lost Realm. Just with those five heroes available, you can, you can put together a stronger team, I think. Maybe... Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just a good blanket statement. And just to show you my Stormcaller real quick. I don't know if I showed it in the beginning of this video because this is like the sixth time of this video. Um, maxed out. I switched out the Brute Force because he's just too squishy. And you saw how squishy he was even with the Stone Skin. So if you've got Storm and you're using something other than Stone Skin or some other defensive talent because everyone's got their flavor, like Flame Guard a lot of people argue for, uh, you know, you're crazy because <laughs> he's not a damage hero. He's got a good amount of damage, but the fact is that three second coma instant proc with the five revite is really, really nice. So if you are having better luck with your lost battlefield, or I'm sorry, lost realm altar fights with Stonecaller, let me know. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and let me remind you. There's a special place in prison showers for trolls. Hope you enjoyed the video.